I would like to show you an alternative way to render your fluid simulations or smoke simulations, fire simulations. So let's just look at the default way. And we have a setup here with some fluid particles and they're emitting smoke density into the fluid domain. And we have a, well, quite low resolution here with 50 by 50 by 50 grid cells. And when I now stop this and render this, well, you can see we can get of a blocky appearance. So one way to fix this is, of course, <laughs> is using a higher simulation resolution. But uh, we can improve on this. So we can either change the render grid resolution. We set it to custom, like so. When I now render this, It is a bit smoother, but well, it <laughs> doesn't really uh, give us what we need. So to improve on this, we could simply directly render the particles instead of the density field. So in order to do this, we can go into this smoke tab of uh, the gas renderer, into the density tab. And instead of using the smoke channel, we can simply use the fluid particle smoke property. There you go. And we now get a sub tab here called particles, and we can now define the density that is taken onto the render grid from the particles. And we use particle radius directly. We can set a follow mode, and we can increase the density and also control it over time so over the H of the particles but let's just render this now and we can see we get a nice a smoothie appearance uh, though a little bit blobby but uh, that's also because we have uh, so few particles here but um, so we don't need to increase the simulation resolution we can simply now work with the uh, render grid resolution and the particles are pretty quickly generated uh, for rendering and so this is a very cool and alternative way to render your simulations by using the particles and of course you have all the advantages that you have um, from the gas renderer and maybe I should mention you can also use some local noise here I may increase the particle radius now just use a custom radius here let's set it well quite high for this 30 meters in cinema 4d space and I turn the noise off again and first show you how it looks like without noise Of course, this takes a little longer because we have a higher radius, much more sampling has to take place. And so we get this now, uh, simply from the particles. And I can now add some local noise, local because it is uh, generated where the from the particle space. So let's just use the turbulence. And I can also define where the noise shall be according to the radius of the particle and I said that we have no noise at the center of the particle and only get noise at the edge alright just lower this so we can generate the render grid a little bit faster we just would like to see the result now the noise on the particles All right, not much to see now. So we go here and here and set a higher influence, maybe. Oh, that was probably too much. We don't see anything in the this, maybe increasing the overall scale.
Ah, there you go. I guess I have chosen the wrong one. I should have. Maybe turn this the other way around. Ah, there you go. So we now have a more uh, broken up surface or edges of the smoke. And we can, of course, we could now limit this to certain areas. I will increase the global scale, the noise. There you go. 